Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with another resin tutorial. So today I have a fun resin tray with a galvanized tray. So technically this is a resin layer inlay on a galvanized tray. And it's actually a dollar store hack. So if you want to learn how to make a fun stylish tray for a couple bucks, I'm your girl. Let's get started. You're first of all going to need a tray. I picked mine up for $5 at the dollar store around the corner from my house. It's galvanized, it has wooden handles, it was five bucks and it's really cute. Then you are going to need your resin. Start with our safety products like always. You're going to need gloves, your respirator. Ooh, I look I match. My whole outfit coordinates. Go to the movies in my respirator and my gloves. That would be so fancy. My mom would not go with me. She gets so embarrassed by some of the things I wear. And you need resin. This doesn't take as much resin as if you're making a entire tray of resin. So my little blush and rose gold tray that I made took about a thousand milliliters of resin. And this one only took about 300 milliliters maybe. So you're going to cut down a lot on your resin, <laughs> which is a good way to save money. Um, because we don't want the entire middle of our galvanized tray to be full of resin. We just want a thin decorative layer at the bottom and that will keep the integrity of our tray. Then you're going to need colors. I use different colors for this one. So not rose gold and blush, which is my favorite. I used purple. So going a little outside of our comfort zone, but not too far. Purple's only like the next color family over. So I use a purple, oh, I've got them right here. Forgot I brought them out here. I used a metallic purple and a dark kind of eggplant as the main colors in this tray. And then I used a silver chunky glitter here. It looks a little like the rose gold flakes I used, but it's silver. And then a fine silver. The last color that I used was an experiment. I just poured glitter all over my driveway. Yay, glitter! Um, the last color that I used was an experiment. I wanted a black, but I didn't have a black glitter. I did have black embossing powder. So I used a little of that and it actually turned out really good. It didn't give me a super pigmented black glitter kind of look like the silver did, but you'll see it turned out really pretty. So without further ado, let's jump right into this project. Super easy one, only takes two layers. Um, and technically you could cut one of those out. I poured the first layer, which is colored, and then I added my rocks to that one. I added minimal rocks because I don't want them poking up out of the resin. And then I waited five hours and I poured a second layer of just clear, just to cover the rocks, protect the decorative layer and make everything level. So technically, if you poured enough resin in the first layer, you don't need a second layer of resin. I only added a second one because I had rocks kind of sticking up out of the first layer and I didn't want to mess up the pattern by pouring more colored resin. So if you don't want to mess up the colored resin, you pour clear on top once it's dry. Now let's get started.
Okay, y'all, look how cool this turned out. I'm gonna give you some close-ups. I love the swirls. So these dark restorations are actually the dark eggplant color that I showed you. And these fine, kind of, oh, now you're getting a reflection on my neighbor's house. Almost grainy looking modules. That is the black embossing powder. I was hoping once I hit it with heat, I fell over. I fell over and poured glitter in this video. I should go inside. Um, I was hoping that once I added heat, the embossing powder would kind of thicken up and give me a darker black, but it really stayed the same. So note self, it does work, but it won't kind of do its embossing powder thing in resin. It still worked though. So, if you like how this looked, this is our $5 galvanized tray from the dollar store. This would make a great present. It makes a really fun decorative piece. Only used a little bit of resin, and the tray is five bucks. It's a great budget-friendly alternative to adding some decor to your house. You could easily add a Cricut um, label or saying in between those two layers of resin something like gather or happiness is homemade, something pretty in between those layers, add an extra element. If you like this video, if you want to see more resin tutorials, planner tutorials, or craft tutorials, click the like button, subscribe, turn on the notifications. I'll be back next week. Bye y'all.